In this video we will see how to create two dependent drop-down lists in Google Sheets. Here is a first sheet called Lists which contains three brands of smartphone with a few models for each. Add a second sheet with the name Primary. We will put in this sheet a header with two columns Mark and Model. Now, create a drop-down list which will contain the brands of smartphones in cell D6. To do this, click on Data, then on Data Validation. Choose the option list from a range. Choose the cells that will be included in the list. In our case the desired cells are in the sheet named Lists. Select these three cells and you can even select other empty cells in the same row if you ever want to add other marks to the header. Now go back to the primary sheet and see the result. In cell E6, we want to create a drop-down list of models which depends on the first drop-down list we just created. That means that for each brand selected in the mark list, only its models are displayed. We start by naming ranges to keep better track of them and create cleaner formulas. Select the models of Samsung products and you can always expand the selection for future use. Right-click, then choose Define Named Range. Now, instead of using D4 through D17 to describe this range of cells, name the range Samsung. Please note that the name of the cell range must be the same as the name of the brand. Do the same for the other models. Now we are going to use the indirect function which takes the address of the cell as text and returns a cell reference. Seeing this example of using this function. In cell B3 we write red then we put the reference B3 in another cell. We write the indirect function which takes as parameter the content of cell D6, which is B3. And here's the result. This also applies to cell ranges. You can also give a name for the range of cells. And use this name as a parameter of the indirect function. Now let's come back to the lists sheet. Enter the indirect function. Then go to the primary sheet to select the drop-down list. Here is the list of models of the brand Samsung is displayed. If you choose another brand then the list changes. Now and finally create a drop-down list for the models. Here we have obtained the desired result.